Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the block diagram of conical scan tracking method. So in the previous video I have explained two different types of methods like a sequential scan method and a conical scan method. These two methods are used to produce an error signal. Okay, so to produce error signal, to produce error signal, so what are the methods available with us? One is sequential method, sequential scan method or sequential switching and the second one is conical scan method. Okay, so in the sequential scan method we are producing the electron beam at uh, uh, two different positions like this. And in the conical scan method, one electron beam should be, is there and this should be rotated in the conical shape to identify the target. So, the error signal in the sequential scan method is uh, the target axis, the difference between the target axis and the switching axis. Error signal, the angular error signal produced by the sequential scan method is nothing but the angular difference between the target axis and the switching axis. And in the conical scan method, the error signal is nothing but the difference between the beam axis and the target, sorry, what is that? The rotational axis and the target axis. Rotational axis and the target axis. So this difference is known as the angular error in the conical scan method. So whatever may be the method, whether it is the sequential scan method or conical scan method, our purpose is to make the error signal zero. Okay, so always we are trying to make the error signal is zero so that the tracking is going on. Okay, so now the error signal which is generated using these two that should be the input for the servo mechanism. So this error signal, this error signal is input to the This error signal is the input to the servo motors. Okay. What is the purpose of servo motors? Servo motors are used to rotate the plate of antenna in the direction of the tracking, uh, in the direction of the target in which it is moving. Okay. Uh, there are two types of, uh, two movements are available. Two movements are available. horizontal movement another one is vertical movement so horizontal movement is done by the calculation of azimuthal angular error and vertical uh, vertical angle is nothing but measurement of the uh, elevation angle okay so the movements of the movement of the plate that means the servo motor is connected to the uh, plate of the antenna that uh, rotation of the antenna is in the azimuthal direction or in the elevational direction that means on the same plane or on the in the vertical direction okay so now our aim is to make this error signal to apply as the input of the servo motor so that the servo motor will rotate the plate of the antenna in any of the directions like azimuthal angle and elevation angle to make the error signal zero now let us see what is the setup and block diagram involved in the design of this tracking radar okay see this tracking radar has been implemented with the help of conical scan method Okay, that's why it is the block diagram of conical scan tracking radar. Okay, instead of this conical scan method, we can also use the sequential method, but the same method we have to follow in the block diagram. See the transmitting section. Transmitting section is having transmitter alone, transmitter, the output of this one is given to duplexer. You know the purpose of duplexer. Duplexer is used to separate the transmitting and receiving signals whenever we are using a single antenna for both the purposes. So the output of the duplexer is given to the input of this antenna. So what is the purpose of antenna? Antenna will produce the antenna beam so that and uh, one more thing is the plate of this antenna. This is the parabolic plate. This plate should be rotating in the direction like a cone. During the reception, the received signal 
is applied to the duplexer again duplexer purpose is to collect the received signal and sending to the receiver so the first one is receiver with automatic gain control receiver with automatic gain control it is having a feedback loop so that the signal will be improved and a gain will be increased and the out the output of this one is given to second detector second detector we know to detect the original message signal second detector the output of this one is given to range gated doppler filter so range gated doppler filters we know it already in the pulse doppler radars we are using this range gated doppler filter the output of this one is given is nothing but an error signal this is the error signal what we have discussed in the previous case which can be generated by using either sequential method or conical scan method so the error signal is given as the input to the two different error detectors because this error signal may be either azimuthal direction or it may be elevation direction i told you already the movement of the target is depend the target movement of the plate is depending upon the direction of the target with which it is moving okay so the the error signal is given to elevation angle error detector and azimuth angle error detector so azimuth elevation angle error detector takes the elevation signal and it will be amplified and given to the servo motors and again azimuth angle error detector is used to detect what is the amount of gap that it has so direction is also important here direction is determined in terms of plus or minus okay that means if the error signal is positive we have to rotate in the positive x axis if the error signal is negative then we have to rotate in the negative x axis direction the plate movement should be in the direction in accordance with the error signal direction positive or negative okay the output of these two error signals these two error signal detectors should be given to uh, servo motor amplifiers servo motor amplifiers the the output of this one is given to see here servo motors see this is the elevation servo motor elevation servo motor which is connected in this direction this uh, rotation of the servo motor will be done when this is deviating that means there exists some error in that direction elevation in the upward direction then these uh, this wheel will rotate so that the plate will become rotation in that particular direction coming to the azimuth angle error detection so that how uh, azimuth angle is given and again amplified and that output signal is given to azimuth direction that means in terms of horizontal direction in the same plane whereas elevation is nothing but in the upward direction now this is the block diagram and let us see what is the important factors here automatic gain control we know and the out see let us see the automatic gain control what we have and before that what are the different uh, main blocks we have for this uh, uh, conical scan tracking radar one is the duplexer i told you already what is the purpose of duplexer it is used to separate transmitting and receiving signals when we are using single antenna automatic gain control which is used to control the gain even in the because automatic gain control is having a feedback loop that is used to maintain the gain constant for throughout the operation so second detector is used to detect the uh, original message signal without any carrier signal original message what you want to transmit it to the long distance range gated doppler filters are used to uh, extract the original movement um, uh, original message of the target which is in the movement or motion so phase sense to detector phase sense to detector will detect what is the amount of doppler component present in the signal suppose f1 is the transmitting signal frequency uh, let us assume that f1 is the transmitting signal frequency f2 is the received signal frequency after some time then phase sense to detector will detect the difference between these two okay so phase sense to detector will detect difference as f1 of t minus f1 of t minus t this t indicates the time period at which the target uh, gives the time information so next one servo motors and amplifiers you know the purpose of servo motors and amplifiers already and this one is 
scan motor and a reference generator so scan motor and reference generator is used to rotate the plate of antenna and the error signal corresponding error signal will be again given to the section to error to make the error zero so working of conical scan tracking radar working uh, working of conical scan tracking radar is nothing but whatever the signal that has been occurred that will be again fed back to the control system and this will be controlling the movement of the antenna plate in the in accordance with the direction of the target so automatic gain control i told you already automatic gain control is having some closed loop which is starting from if amplifier and to the output so if amplifier second detector and video amplifier range gate and box care generator this output is given to agc filter dc amplifier and given to if amplifier so here the box care generator is nothing but a sample and hole circuit box care generator is nothing but a sample and hole circuit that sampled signal must be again converted into a continuous signal so for example take this first signal as an example two signals are there one is the message signal another one is the carrier signal when we are reconstructing all these signals together the signal will be like this reconstructed signal okay so reconstructed signal is nothing but sample and hole circuit a box care generator will produce the thing that is known as sample and hole circuit sample and hole circuit or sample and hole waveform okay so this is the purpose of uh, box care generator and uh, uh, automatic gain control and the block diagram is shown here this is the complete block diagram of the error signal generation and the giving feedback to the servo motors to rotate the plate of the antenna thank you